Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kniewski. May 17, 2007, thousands of workers rallied on the National Mall for the Transportation Day of Action. A day to tell the federal government enough is enough to practices that put the needs of businesses in front of American workers. On a sunny day in May, a tide of labor washed over Capitol Hill with a message. It's a day of protest, brothers and sisters, to unequivocally say to the President of the United States, enough is enough. I can see blue coming from as far as I can see. And I can see red coming from as far as I can see. Whether young or old, enough is enough. Machinist or other, the whole world is watching today, and we better show the whole world what we can do. And no matter what language it was spoken, Ya yeah, basta! Enough is enough! The message was clear. Enough is enough! It was shouted by a sea of color gathered at the mall. America's lost 3.2 million manufacturing jobs, Mr. President. Enough is enough! And by thousands at home. But 60 seconds ago, every machinist and transportation stood up. 60 seconds ago, every machinist, whether you're driving, we're driving a truck in the airport, turn on the lights. If you was in a reservation center, they stood up. If you're a customer service agent, they announced to the public that this was Transportation Day of Action. Standing in solidarity, the event brought union workers from around the globe to tell those in power what has to change. No more NAFTAs, no more CAFTAs, no more fast track. Enough is enough. The middle class is disappearing. And this country will be nothing without the middle class. We do this to remind them that we're here because I think they have a tendency to forget. We push this aside. They treat us they treat us poorly, but they in the same in the same breath they need us. They need us to do the job we do. Labor's friends in Congress also came to show their support. It's what you do every day that keeps America going. You're the transportation workers that get us from place to place. You're the ones that we need and we don't often say thank you enough. So let me start by saying thank you. Thank you for keeping America going. Never again should they be fired, should they be intimidated, should they be harassed. Never again should that happen. Politicians lent their voices, showing workers who's in their court. The next president has an obligation to do two things, to restore America's place in the world and to reinvigorate labor so it can save the middle class. We've lost millions of manufacturing jobs. We need a president who says that it's time to have a manufacturing policy which says that the maintenance of steel, automotive, and aerospace is vital to America's national economic security. For many, it was a chance to be part of something great. This is probably the most greatest thing that's happened to me since I've been on a railroad. Coming down here, seeing all the unions together. And help write America's future. And we're not going to give up without a fight. We're the fighting machinists. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> In its fifth year, the Day of Action brings attention to the problems of all workers. But it's the men and women of transportation who have sometimes been hurt the most. What we need to remember is whether on rail or water, on the streets or in the air, this country doesn't move without this group of heroes. For more machinist news, you can log on to goiam.org. Thanks for watching.